Okay, this is going to be a hand and wrist branching exam. Start with the vital signs. We're going to take, take or verify the temperature for a fever. We're going to count radial pulses, check pulses distally in a trauma, count respirations for rate and rhythm, uh, check oxygen saturation for a low oxygen count, take blood pressure on the right arm for higher low blood pressure, and check the weight, sudden increase or decrease. Okay, and we're going to make sure we're properly exposed all the jewelry off. Um, the dorsal part of the hand, we're looking at the phalanges, we're looking at the nails flanges and nails for swelling and pitting, the metacarpals for any bony deformities, uh, the carpals for synovitis, tensor extension, extens, extensor tendon rupture, and then we're going to look at the attitude of the hand and the position of function. Put your hands over for me. Okay, looking at the volar side, we're going to be looking here at the thenar muscles for atrophy and medial nerve innervation, hypothenar for atrophy ulnar nerve innervation, and the palmar fascia for Dubitrin's contracture. Okay, and then we're going to start with active range of motion. So I want you to just go and do what I'm doing. Stick your hands out like this. And we're going to do just the phalanges first. And so curl them in like this. And back out. Abduction. Adduction. Okay, and then with your thumb, we're going to do uh, flexion. Opposition. Or, oh, that's opposition? Mm hmm. Oh yeah, opposition, extension, mm -hmm. um, forward, yep. abduction, mm -hmm. backwards, abduction, Good. adduction, and, okay, and then flexion, and extension of the metacarpals, and then the carpals, flexion, extension, okay, and then uh, radial deviation, and ulnar deviation. Good. And uh, passive, so I'm going to go and take your hand here, I'm going to move things, move the fingers, just the phalanges, flexion, extension, and then the metacarpals, flexion, extension, and then the carpals, flexion, extension, flexion, extension, and then a palpation, okay, I'm going to start, phalanges, and the metacarpals. Okay, this is the first, so we're going to concentrate here on the base of the first. Uh, we're going to feel the trapezium, the scaphoid, the snuff box, the anatomical snuff box, uh, the base of the third. Feel the capitate right in there. And then the base of the fifth or the last triquetrium and the triangle fibrocartilage complex. And I'm going to pull the hands over. I'm going to feel the scaphoid. Okay. And then on this side, the piece of form. Okay, I'm going to just lay your hands flat. I'm going to be checking the motor. What I want you to do is bend this joint right here. Which joint is that? Uh, the distal interphalangeal joint, the DIP. Okay? Good. And then I want you to flex this next one, which is going to be the proximal interphalangeal joint, or the PIP. Abduction, I'm going to push against them here. Resist. Okay, I'm going to put them together. I'm try to pull them apart. Okay. And then put your thumbs like this. Push down, resist. Good. And uh, we'll do grip strength. Good. Uh, now, hold your hands out like this and push down against my hands. This is going to be flexion. We're checking C7. Push up against them. Extension, radial nerve palsy in C6. And we have the sensory. We're going to do two point discrimination. Uh, for decreased sensation. So put your hands down on the table and go and close your eyes and tell me if you feel one point, one point or two. Two. One. Okay. One. Okay, good. Flip one for me. Two points or one. Two. Two. What nerve are you testing there? One. Uh, this one 
uh, the dorsal of the thumb was radial nerve C6. Um, the palmar aspect of the third is medial nerve C7. Two, two, one. Okay, good. And now we're going to be testing the ulnar nerve C8 with the fifth ulnar aspect. Two, two. Two, two, one. Good. Okay, you can open again and flip your hands over. We're going to get a uh, capillary refill. No nail polish, Dan? No, not today. <clears throat> Make sure to put it on for test day. That's right. Uh, then we're going to do the Finkelstein's test. And this is where we're going to be testing for D. Quervain's tenosynovitis. So I want you to put your hands up like this, tuck your thumbs in. And grip your thumbs, and then put your pull your wrist forward, checking for pain. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do perform the grind test. We're checking for pain and arthritis. Go on and extend your thumbs out. I'm just going to move this joint down in here. Going to grind it. Good. Good. And then the ulnar collateral ligament test. I want you to put your hands, just one of them, we'll tuck it in like that. Okay. And take this, and we're going to try to separate this joint right here. Any pain? Okay, same on this side. Any pain with that one? No. Good. All right, now we're going to do carpal tunnel, test for carpal tunnel. We're going to perform the Phelan's test. So I want you to put your hands together like this. You're going to hold that for one minute. We're going to check for uh, any uh, numbness or tingling. Okay. And put your hands out like this. Perform the tunnel test. We're going to tap. Any shooting pain, stab pain anywhere? Nope. Okay. This side? Nope. Good. Okay, and then we're going to do the carpal tunnel compression test. I'm going to push here for one minute. I don't know if we're supposed to do one side or two, but I'll just do this. Okay, for one minute. And if all these are negative, we're going to do a shoulder and C-spine exam. Excellent.